Alrighty then, here we go with part two of a uh, deep run that I had in the Poker Stars Sunday Million. Um, if you haven't watched part one already, I'll give you a quick rundown on a couple of the players at this table. For some reason, this name class sticks out in my mind. I, I didn't look at the time, um, and so I'm not going to do it now, who this person is. I feel like it might be someone who posts occasionally on 2 and 2. Uh, he's been playing decently. This guy over here, Seaman Demon, um, does not appear to be particularly good, and... Uh, we won a pretty big pot off of him fairly early in the tournament, uh, and I'm hoping he may be a little upset with us. He seems like the tilty sort. He was talking a lot in the chat box, not so much to me, but he seemed to be getting upset with people in general. And uh, Aaron Bean is a very well-known um, tournament pro. I think actually, uh, uh, actually, I, I know he's a sponsored player at Full Tilt Poker. Uh, I think he's clearly the person we're going to be most concerned about at the table. Uh, and I am going to be running through every hand that I played. For the most part, I'm trying to keep the um, I'm keeping the playback speed pretty high so that we can get through this quickly. And I'll pause at times when there's something um, really worth noting. But I want you to kind of notice note the general game flow, especially as stacks get shallower, antes come in, and the game becomes more and more about stealing blinds pre-flop. A lot of the important stuff in tournaments is not going to be the big pots that are played. It's going to be uh, just kind of game flow issues, um, understanding when is going to be a good opportunity to steal and why and which player you're targeting, how you're going to re-steal, that sort of thing. Uh, you, you really need to be watching every hand to, to notice uh, those kind of game flow issues. Um, so here on the button, looking at these stacks now, I think a slightly smaller raise would be better so that I have room to fold the JFITs. If I knew that Jay Fitz was a good uh, was a good tournament player who was going to re-steal with a good frequency, I might raise less with the intention of calling a shove or folding, just kind of de depending on what I know about him. But uh, at this stage of the tournament, against a, a random in the Sunday million, I think that you're not going to Ace Five is not going to be in good shape, even getting uh, decent pot odds. So I, I think the better play here might be to raise to like. 14 something or maybe 1500 and leave myself a little more room to fold the JFITs. As it is, uh, it, it would just be a nasty decision if, if he were to shove in. I'd probably have to call and it, it wouldn't be pretty. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't be raising Ace 5 here on the button. It, it certainly figures to be ahead of these two guys in the blinds. And uh, as I was saying, I don't think JFITs is going to steal with a good frequency. And it's very difficult for class to play back at this.